it is time for another Dyson V11 repair video. I'm not quite sure why it's an animal because it has the, mm, look at that lovely floor to on it, but that is not its main problem. Neither is the filter being clogged, blocked or whatever. No, what it does is, on eco, and I should put my hand there so you don't think I'm blocking it off. Medium. But then what's most surprising is that in boost, it runs absolutely fine. What is going on? I have no idea. So in this video, we're going to take it apart and we're basically going to see what we find. What is going on? Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This is already spewing out, oh gosh, a phenomenal amount of dust and I've done us the liberty of getting to this stage already. If this survives, you can have an airline out, but who knows if you will or not. No, we need to carry on in here. So we'll take out the two torque screws holding the motor cover into place and I'm Wondering at the age of this is not under warranty. They did confirm that. But I'm hoping it's not got that glue all over the motor. That Dyson so like to use nowadays to discourage home repairs, and it doesn't, and that's good. Right, push that plug through and out. Like so, and here is our first look at our motor. Nothing seems to have been immediately on fire so that's good we shall remove the ribbon cable for the screen pluck out the flex cable for the battery charge checker thing and undo the two use our torx still like oh yes undo the two torx head screws ready to bend those flat and withdraw the motor from the machine itself then, with some gentle, very careful levering of the rubbery bits, we can pop our motor out of the housing. And, well, there's still nothing really obvious or apparent to me. This is the problem, you see. If, if it's something in here or a chip on that board, there is nothing I can do about that. I was sort of hoping to find something jammed in the motor or similar. So, I don't know really, I guess, that's not water in it, no, no, it seems to be okay. I don't think you can really strip these down, should we take, take the screw out and horrify people? I'm sure I tried this before, this is the wrong screwdriver as well, but it does the job. So, screw, fan, not broken, to other fan not broken and then that's it after that this bit is literally glued to the motor and there is nothing you can do about that so that is ever so ever so strange there's nothing burnt nothing visibly popped how very strange indeed so i know really well i'm going to give it an airline out just in case <laughs> really and then put it back together because it's obviously not the battery because it works in boost i guess airline this out as well but the problem is i've never seen that machine gun fire before so let me come back when it's back together and we'll see what it does in what's probably the least confident about when we put a machine back together after finding not really any fault at all that I've ever been, we'll leave it on medium. What are you doing? And like, you can hear that, I don't think I can show you, but the machine is thumping the vibration. That is... Very strange, 
and sadly a bit of a problem for us because I don't know how to fix that and I think the only thing I can really offer to the customer is that we look at used machines on eBay and you know, I'll swap the motor around. Well, yeah look it makes that pulse as well. Is it the battery? I don't know, comment down below but I haven't known that to happen before and yeah I don't know really. Let's hang on. No, wait. Oh, in this box here, I forgot. I have my old, and this is, I don't know when I got this, but it's brand new. If I can get it out of its uh, outer wrapping. One of the main units that Dyson mistakenly sent me because their Instagram and their Twitter teams do not talk to each other when I had my own V11. So hey, I mean, <laughs> if it is this, I know exactly what I'm going to sell the customer and it's going to cost them a pretty penny. But we can diagnose it. There's a problem with these. You've got to have like a whole other one. Right, well, it, it goes to turn on. So filter, bin and battery from the dud. Ooh. Oh, I forgot how hot they get. Marvellous. So, yeah, the main motor from this one <laughs> is at fault. Um, guess I'll tell the guy, work out what a used one of these goes for. And, hey, the old V11 that has made me so much money and you know, views on this channel will continue to do so even from beyond its new owner. The head works as well. How fabulous. Right, I'm going to go and write up a phenomenally large bill. Oh, I've got it dirty already. Look, it doesn't look much worse than that now. So the other one pushed. That was brand new. Oh, so, also, another thing that kills the motor on a Dyson V11 and you can't fix it because you don't even know what it is. Well done modern technology. Have you ever seen this before on a V11? If so please do let me know and until next time I and another broken Dyson V11 will see you soon. Bye bye.